I, I think people underestimate entrepreneurship and having businesses as kind of an, an additional path to financial security and financial freedom. And it has certainly been that for me. Like I have, um, I have my rental properties, but I could also be a property manager. I could also be a bookkeeper. I do bookkeeping. Like you know, my CPA is always like, you're, you know, you have great books. You should, do, you could do other people's books. I was like, I don't want to, but I could. Yes. Yeah. Um, I could be a real estate agent. And, and, and so these are all real estate skills, but some of you out there might have other skills. Like, and so I, I think think outside the box. Like we, this, the, the way the economy is right now, um, being a employee who just you know work stays with one company for the next 20, 30, 40 years, like that's that's not normal. Like if, if you can do that, great. But most of us are going to have to be you know Bradley Incorporated, Chad Incorporated. Like we're going to have to start our own thing. We have to be entrepreneurs. And the sooner you start doing that, even if it's just a little small thing, like an Etsy store on the side, or you know going to a local farmer's market on Saturdays and selling your your jewelry, or if it's you know becoming a real estate agent on the side and doing a little bit of that, or you know find this is where you can find the thing that your your skill set is is built for. Yeah. Not necessarily your passion, like find your skill set and then go find that skill set and build a, a little business around it. That's kind of a second level of financial independence that I think is really important. 